One of the best techniques in establishing the carpet in your tank is using the dry start method. But I often get asked, can you do it without CO2? First of all, that's kind of a loaded question. Let's get through it. Hey guys, welcome to another ATQ quick video. And in this video, we're going to talk about if we need to use CO2 or not be able to use CO2 with the dry start method. All right, first of all, let's go over really quick how DSM works. The method is created to jumpstart a carpet in your tank. Usually, most likely, or originally, it was to jumpstart HC. I can't pronounce that stupid plant name. Give me a break. And that plant, as most people know, or at least most educated people know, that it's a high light demanding plant that needs CO2. But of course, over through the years, people have been using it to actually jumpstart carpets like dwarf hair grass or Monte Carlo. Those plants are not as demanding as hydrocarbonate. Okay. People often ask me, well, if I use those plants, can I just not use CO2? When we use the dry start method, we're growing the carpet immersed. Okay. That means it has air around it. And in our air, there's a lot more CO2 that the plants can use than they can have in the water itself. Now, the problem comes when we flood the tank. Once we flood that tank, that CO2 is gonna get cut off from the plant itself. So over the course of weeks, six to eight weeks, depending on how long you run the DSM, it's been used to collecting all the CO2. It's got abundant CO2 to use. But once you flood that tank, you're cutting off its food source, or one of its food source. That which is being carbon, if you don't understand that, you need to check out some of my other videos. CO2 multi-part series, check it out now. And since it's grown immersed, it has to switch over to being growing submersed. Now the plants have two kind of modes. There's immersive and submersive growth. So when it switches modes that way, it dies back and then grows back. And herein lies the problem. It could create a lot of waste because there could be a mass die off. It has happened before. This is the same reason why we give the carpet a super trim right after we flood the tank. What we're trying to do is give it as much help as it can to just grow back with all the roots already grown in, right? You need to just grow back correctly. So what we do is we ramp up the CO2 once it's flooded to give them that abundance of CO2 that was once in the air and slowly ramp it down while it does that immersive to submersive process. So that has a really good chance to maintain its growth and a lush carpet that we desperately seek. I don't know if it's desperate, but whatever, you know what I mean. Let's say we use dwarf hair grass or Monte Carlo. It's not as demanding as hydro cost, but you still have to ramp up that CO2 to give it a really good chance. That's what it's all about, stacking the chances to work in our favor. But there's nothing to say that you can't just keep ramping it down, ramping it down, ramping it down after flooding until there's no CO2 left and you can run it as a regular tank without CO2. But there is a trade-off. You still need to start with CO2. And if you're already starting with the personalized CO2 system, why not continue using it? And that's it for this A to the Q video. And remember, if you want to check out and know more about the DSM process, I made a video about it here. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You like this video if you like it. And that's it. Love you guys. See you in the next video.